Recently, Marlin Firmware released version 2.0. I tried to compile it on my ANET A8, and it threw up a bunch of errors saying we didn't have enough uh, room on the uh, memory to uh, flash the firmware. So in this video, I'll show you how to correct those errors and get your ANET A8 version 1 board updated to Marlin 2.0. So in my last video, I had to downgrade my AVR board definitions to 1.6.23 because 1.8.1 was throwing up a bunch of errors. Version 1.8.2 fixes a lot of the uh, problems we were having with the uh, previous version. It fixes the uh, non-constant assertion error that we were getting in the previous video. Go to the Marlin GitHub page and download the 2.0 branch, clone it, download it as a zip. After downloading Marlin 2.0, right click it, extract all. Go into your Marlin 2.0 folder, go into the config, go into examples, go into ANET A8, go to your A8, copy and paste these in your Marlin folder. Replace. So you copied all these over. Double click on your Marlin INO. And that'll start your Arduino IDE. So this is the configuration H for the, your ANET V1 board. Pretty much everything was the same as your 1.1.9 bug fix. Um, I put in my PID tuning for my uh, hot end. Put in the PID tuning for my bed. Enabled the various driver types. If you don't enable this, it'll do it by default because it says if uh, the drivers are unspecified, then it uh, We'll do the A4988, which is the default driver for the ANET A8 board, but I enable them anyway. Enable Z Safe Homing, uncomment this. That That is a pretty much mandatory thing on your ANET A8 or any other printer, is to enable Z Safe Homing. I have Auto Bed Leveling Bilinear enabled. That's about the only changes I make on my configuration H. The problem I was having was when I hit compile sketch, it throws up an error saying we're out of memory. So this is the error I'm getting when compiling Marlin 2.0 right out of the box. Uh, the sketch size is 127,850 bytes when you only have a uh, maximum of uh, 126,976 bytes of memory. So doing some research, I found this article on GitHub about reducing your Marlin firmware binary size to fit your 3D printer board memory. Navigate to your documents, Arduino, hardware, ANET. This is where you download your board definitions. Open up your platform local.txt. You see it's empty. The, the this is a, a pound empty meaning nothing's there pound on on this file means it's remmed out or or uh, commented out but in arduino id you should edit the platform dot local dot text for your board it is inside your hardware folder together add this these lines copy it paste it Save it into your platform.local.txt. Close it down. Make sure your Arduino IDE is closed down. Open up your Marlin INO again, and that'll open Arduino IDE. Go to Tools. Check your board. Make sure it's your ANET V1. Check your port. And compile. So while this is compiling, I found another thing on GitHub. This is the ANET A8 board definition website skynet you know skynet is no longer supported but it still has the uh, board definitions that you can download and in the readme file it has how to reduce the size of the bootloader to save on memory 
uh, using the Opti bootloader on your board. If you go here, you have the Anet V1 or Anet V1 Opti boot. If you burn the Opti boot bootloader, it will save a lot of space on your Anet A8 board. But I've never used this Opti boot, but that's a whole nother option that you can use to save space on your Anet A8 board. And after that change, you'll see that it's done compiling, and we have 122,154 bytes left, 96% of your memory, and here's your total memory right there. Then you select Upload. And after about 15 minutes of sitting here, it's uh, done uploading the new firmware to my Anet A8 V1 mainboard. So this is how you flash the latest version of Marlin onto your Anet A8 V1 board.